Up next on Laura McKenzie's Traveler. Tucked away in the heart of Siena, Italy, local tour companies treat visitors to a variety of tours of the Tuscany region. And one of the most unique ways to discover one of the rarest delicacies in the region is to take a truffle hunting tour. You may have heard of a truffle, but would it surprise you to know that this is an example of the prized edible delicacy that's so sought after. A fungus located underground, a literal buried treasure found by none other than man's best friend. Well, I learned all of this and more from a real pro, a passionate hunter with 15 years of experience who taught me all about the truffle. The truffle hunting tour and the adorable dogs, not pigs, who find them. Okay, so when you bring people out, to go truffle hunting, you really have to tramp through the woods and um, get a little dirty. But uh, tell me about your, your tour. I organize uh, a tour in the in province of Siena uh, all the year because we have uh, different types of truffle. We have four types of black truffle and two types of white truffle. Now in the summer we have black summer truffle, but in September start the most famous white truffle. And in October and November, we have another two kind of black truffle. And in January, we have another white truffle. And so we have a fresh truffle all day. All year, that's yeah. fantastic. I felt excited as I followed Alessandro and the pups through the Italian woods. It was hard not to get caught up in the adrenaline of the hunt. He's got it. Once the dogs got a sense of a truffle, Alessandro would stop, dig, and search. And when the combined efforts yielded a reward, the dogs got their treat. It was fantastic. Brava, si, brava. Wow, pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> oh. Wow, yeah. That. Brava, si. Brava. Brava, another one. So this is the black truffle that we just found like three minutes ago. That's yes. unbelievable. That weighs about how much? This is 100 grams. Oh, that's gorgeous. Considered an edible delicacy since classical times, the truffle is in the tuber family with a very distinctive scent. In fact, through the years, many truffle hunters used female pigs to root through the underbrush, as the truffle aroma reportedly mimics that of a male pig. Nothing against pigs, but I found that these dogs were a lot more fun to cuddle. Tell me about this gorgeous little dog. She's Mocha, Lagotto Romagnolo, a special kind of Italian dog, specialized for truffle hunting. And she's uh, Pepita, the Labrador. Come here. I have two dogs. The Lagotto is the, the best kind uh, in Italy for truffle hunting. She's bred and trained for truffle hunting. Yes, That's amazing. Yes. Very sweet, very jealous. Now she's My, a water is, dog, yeah? Yes, she's a water dog, but um, it's very, very uh, concentrate for truffle hunting. It's very dynamic. Yes, and she found uh, many, many truffle in one day in one, in one session. That's just amazing. Just to see yeah. her work is incredible. And Pepita too. Now you said Pepita specializes in the white truffles. Yes, Pepita is better for white truffles. Because they're like a meter down? Yeah. In the winter, she can swim in the river. and she, she can find a truffle in the border of the river. She's tired. She's been working really hard this morning. Looks like the girls are ready to get back into the woods to start hunting again. So shall we do it? With dogs that are faithful and well-trained and a hunter like Alessandro, who is truly passionate about hunting truffles, our tour was a delight and a success. How many do we have so far? How many? How many? Quanto? Quanti. Quanti? Me down. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, so the one that Pepita took a bite of, can you still sell that? Do you cut it? Yes, you can cut and uh, take off that? this part. The truffle That's... is good. So yeah. you take it home and make pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Once we came out of the woods, Alessandro took us back to his shop on the corner of Piazza del Campo, a beautiful medieval square at the heart of Siena's historic center. The shop is easy to find. As Alessandro says, just follow the scent. 
We've just come in from the field truffle hunting. We found quite a few, and I came to Alessandro's stand here in El Campo, and he has a lot of the products that he makes from the truffles that he finds. So what are some of the oils that you have here? I have uh, the extra virgin olive oil with white truffle slice inside. Mm -hmm. It's the real truffle oil, no chemical. And the balsamic vinegar from Modena with my truffle. Is truffle that the salt. black black truffle? Black truffle, white truffle. Okay. This is a truffle salt with black truffle, black summer truffle. And this is a carpaccio. It's the same truffle that we find together. Yes. Truffle slice Sliced. in oil and salt. Okay. Very good for eggs, pasta. And once you open this, how long does it last? When you open for 10 days in refrigerator, it's good. Okay, refrigerator. And this? This is my preferite, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and white truffle. Nice, it's and fantastic. what do you use this for? Gnocchi, ravioli, uh, bruschetta. That's great. Now, you also sell the actual truffles here. Yes. Say someone would buy them, how would you pack it for them to take home? If you want, I can ship in a vacuum bag mm -hmm. with a special eyes okay. near to the, the truffle. Right. And if you, once you get it home, do you have to refrigerate it? Yes. And then you can just shave it and use yes. it? And you how long does it, it last? Uh, if uh, the truffle are a good quality, 15 days, 20 days, no more. Okay, well, okay. I'm gonna go shop. The many varieties of truffles yield diverse products from oils, cheeses, salts, and sauces to wine. You can also purchase a whole fresh truffle. Oh, what to bring home? Maybe one of each. After all, the delicacies of Italy will make the perfect souvenir. Ah, Tuscany, it's as beautiful as everyone says. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of it with me and that you'll join me again next time from another terrific place somewhere else around the world. I'm Laura McKenzie. Bye-bye.